welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment. Now, time for us to talk about Lagos State with the election in March. Uh, we get a lot of people where they come outside, declare their interest in, in taking over the governorship seat for inside Rio Budu, um, Lagos here. And one of them, that person where they don't come outside, talks, say, in they better equipped to actually rule Lagos. Who be this one? Aim now the governorship candidate of um, Action Democratic Party, ADP. Join me, welcome, Mr. Babatunde Badamosi, inside the Good Morning Niger studio. Good to have you, sir. Thank you very much. It's a very good morning, sir. Morning. Welcome morning. to our studio morning. today. Morning. And very quickly, we could just jump straight into um, the meat of the conversation today. Now, we know so just over the weekend, we've been getting the gubernatorial um, uh, debate, basically, uh, for the coming elections. And according by many papers, they say, you've been still the show. Um, the most interesting part be when you introduce yourself and you talk, say, amongst all the candidates, say, you now the person who get the least experience uh, for inside politics, amongst those who have been dead here. So we want to ask, say, what it been sprout, you know, what it been bring out that confidence? Be being, say, you they con de contest or compete against people with what they call seasoned politicians, uh, basically, in the industry. And then you come out. And then on that day, where you've been given a good account of yourself, where we say many people have uh, been open their ears to listen with, to the things where you want to talk. Well, what's in the inside, we say, now the, the question we were supposed to ask ourselves, I'd be waiting the questions in need right now. And the answer, the light, water, Better road, better school for their pickings then, better houses where they go live, jobs, eh? cheaper food, easier transportation for to the worker up and down from inside Lagos. That the things when Lagos has need to be. Now who gets the kind experience eh? or in history? When you go feel show say, all these things when Lagosians need, I sabi do them. This will not be talk matter. This will not be say make person come the blue grammar, the form committee, eh, the write book. Not be that matter with the talk now. Now person will sabi. When get history to show say is sabi. Now what in Lagosians need now be that. Not be politician. Lagosians don't need politician now. We don't try politician for 20 years. Did it not work? It work. Our travel time reduced. Light don't come. What are they? Schools day for our pickings. Not be say every year school fees they rise. For this Lagos, now the first time when we go see them, say private school, plenty past public school. Now the first time with this kind of thing go happen for Lagos with this. Private hospital, plenty past public hospital. Patients, whether they treat for private hospital, we plenty past patients, whether they treat for public hospital. Now, the first time we go happen for Lagos with this, for the last 20 years. The thing done bad. And if we don't want to lie to ourselves, if we won't arrange ourselves well, well, this thing when we don't try for 20 years, we go put them to one side. Say, politicians, may not go rest. And I don't try. May we bring people where Sabi waiting we need. I like when you come outside, I like some of the things where Lagosians need. Now you talk about light, which now, not just Lagosians, Nigerians in general. Well, maybe we'll start with Lagos. Light. Nigeria, I, I yes, I understand. And that. another thing again where Lagosians, they actually face now affordable housing. As a real estate practitioner, which plans you get on ground to make sure, say, Lagosians get access to affordable housing? As it's in day now, eh, the rate where construction technology don't advance reach, mm -hmm. the kind of technologies where they're out there, it don't give us opportunity. And as a practitioner, they tell you as something when I know. Now, what I they do with that for work? Now, what I they take chop with that? You understand? I know, say, we feel build 40,000 affordable housing units in four years. We feel build even more safe. But as they look at our finances, you understand? And as they look as I go take open up the space for private sector, make themselves come do mass housing. Because as a private sector real estate investor, I know they do mass housing yet because government incentive not day to do them. You understand? Waiting with the government incentive where they find. If I won't do mass housing, I don't want begin to go invest in heavy, heavy water works again. I don't want to go invest in heavy, heavy central power system again. Waiting at they find, we say, if I build, make I just face building the houses, the roads, and the drainage. We cannot come begin to invest in waterworks, begin to invest in power generation 
uh, 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 network. Make I invest in power distribution, yes. Now me get my power network inside my estate. But the generation, you know, supposed to be my concern. Government supposed to provide that one. Or at least whether in a private sector or whichever. Make it come from the main supply for the whole state. Make I come plug my own inside. Collect my own light. Put meter there, they pay. You understand? So if we come out that investment, the money we will for invest in generating capacity, the money we will for invest in uh, water filtration, water treatment plant, if we come out that one, to enter mass housing market, it could be a sweet private sector for Bele. You understand? And the cost of the houses, because the cost of infrastructure, now they drive up the cost of housing. You understand? Mm -hmm. If we come out those costs for inside, and then government come add some small, small incentive join. You understand? Like tax breaks for people who want to invest in mass housing. Eh? If government add those things join, if government add some other incentives join, like whether land, to make land available at cheaper cost to anybody who want to do any number of houses, maybe above a certain number, if you want to do like, uh, say, 500 units or more in a defined amount of space, government will give you guidelines. Say, okay, as you build 500 units or more, you're supposed to put recreational facility. You're supposed to uh, include a uh, commercial element, small one, where at least people wait there for that area. Mm -hmm. They go see what they go take care. Uh, they relax themselves. You understand? Now, why you feel say so far, we never forget and right as it has to housing? I agree. I agree. The only thing where they disturb us, I agree. Corruption. People want any, anything when they want to do. They won't first get their own, put them for their pocket. If they do any scheme now, at least now one governor tell us for this legal say uh, affordable land or not the affordable cement or not the affordable iron bar not the. So therefore, we must not expect uh, affordable housing. And that one, uh, with due respect to the man, he not savvy what they talk. Because government gets what they call uh, economies of scale, buying power. Government get them. Government get the taxes. Will, okay, this is what we are do now. When they pay on a salary, government go come out somewhere between fifteen and twenty percent of the money where you work for, when you sweat for. Government go collect them free, free of charge. They go just collect the money, put them for their pocket. You understand? So government they get free money every month from all of us, or at least the ones among us when get job, because now, the problem with daily was now we say people not get work. I heard in the talk yesterday say, uh, uh, now only uh, 800,000 people, they pay tax for Lagos. I won't tell them, but they don't give me a chance for that uh, Archbishop Vining debate yesterday. I won't tell them, say, the reason why people not pay tax, now because they don't get a job. Now who get a job, they pay tax now. You understand? Mm. If you create, if you invest in infrastructure, say for instance, let me give you one example. Where we did now with the VI. After this VI, if you go east for the coastline, Road, no day. Vast areas of land, plenty, when people no build, because road, no day there. Meanwhile, if we put road, if we carry road built from legally a day, 10 lane expressway, carry them from there, go join Odeomi. From there, beg Ogun state government, Ondo state government, negotiate with Delta state government. Build the road, go join East West Road for worry. You understand? Mm. If we build that road, what thing go follow up? Private sector go wrong, go there now. Begin build. Banks will go there and go build headquarters. The hotel will go there and go build hotel. Make it for face the beach. You understand? Many, many businesses will go there. And where business go, waiting they follow? Jobs. So all the capital when they locked up for people passing our house. I know one person for this Lagos will get more than 40 trillion naira inside a house where he come out from the economy of Lagos. You understand? Even that person, I don't want to fight them. Now we say, make we just carry the taxes when we collect from all of us. Make we invest them for all we benefit. If we invest that money, to quickly come, come invest, go they switch people for Bele. If light day, work go day. Taylor, when they carry 500, 700 naira every day, they take buy petrol for you, I better pass my neighbor. That money go there in pocket too. Now expendable income be that. <coughs> so you know one person will get money inside the house. 
Now, you just did very obvious, say corruption, don't actually eat deep into Lagos State. You don't people, chop Lagos, People don't actually finish. see Lagos as a country due to the amount of money where they actually generate internally. Now, how you go take fight that corruption where you don't see Dangi Degba for inside Lagos? The corruption with the Lagos, it gets different, different levels. You get one kind of corruption where we say, na sickness, na inkosa. Some people just get mental problem. They get what they call irrational fear of poverty. The money no they reach them. No matter how much money they see, they go just they still want more. Some people they like that. Majority of people where they corrupt, now hunger and uncertainty. Now they drive them. Say, I don't know what tomorrow go bring. Make a chop with every chop now. You understand? Some people now just pure hunger. To see what they go chop today. They no say tomorrow enough it day. If it not day. So maybe they quickly take what in every take. Eh? Maybe they take advantage of the position when they did. Maybe they take chop what in every chop. That one, now mostly civil servants fall into that category. Majority of civil servants. And why? Because the money where they pay them, you not reach anywhere. Now slave wages, now where they pay them. We did 21st century. We they compare ourselves with, when we they talk, we go say developed countries. Say, and I don't see how they do for developed countries. Everybody, they forget, say developed countries. They pay better salary to their people. Policemen for Dubai, police, then they pay them 1.5, uh, 150,000 dirham per month. That is 1.5 million naira per month. Eh? Then they pay doctor, freshly graduated doctor for US, then they pay them $200,000 before tax. A year. If you come out tax finish, the money will still remain about 120,000 because they are top rate of tax for them now 45 percent. You understand? So the problem of corruption, we say, we no pay enough. If we upgrade the salary, if we upgrade the benefits, where civil servants for Lagos they get, if we upgrade our police, our Lagos network, uh, our Lagos neighborhood and peace corps. If we upgrade their salary, if we give police better allowance, we will say, in no say, if you work finish for the end of month, the money we go get, in go feed in family, pay in children's school fees, put petrol for a moto, buy clothes for your children, still save enough money to go holiday. In fact, save enough money to buy one kind of combo like that after six months. And still save money put for inside bank at the end of the month. Oh boy, he go work now. The guy go work. He go put in mind every, every, every. Now he go put inside that work. If they tell us he go work, he no go go arrange a roadblock or collect boys for road. They obtain there, say, oh yeah, and you get laptop. Now he say, you must be Yahoo, Yahoo boy. They waste police resources like that. You understand? Now money, now him be the problem. Poverty, now the problem. And people go ask me, say, where the money go from come? I know say now next question with that. Say if I want to increase salary, where I go take see the money? Mm -hmm. My sister, may I not lie to you? The thief, where they go on for this Lagos, he pass be careful. Thief from who? From politicians. So how are you go? And main officials. I will give you one example, very quick example. Then they build one railway. They build one and they build railway. What thing we see for eye? What thing we see for ground? Now we say that they build that from mile two side to CMS. For paper, they write say now from Okoko. You they hear me so? To CMS. But as I they talk to you now, no evidence today for ground. Say now from Okoko, the thing won't start. The whole length of that line at 27.5 kilometers. When they announced the thing to us for 2009, they talk, say, the money when they pay for that blue line, now 1.5 billion US dollars. Make we for take understand that well well. Now over 500 billion naira na in B. 500 billion, not be, mil, not be million, no, billion naira. Now in the project, they cost Lagos State. Okay. They begin builder. Then they build that, then they build that. Till now, they never finish. Since 2009, 10 years. I can't discover, say, for Ethiopia. They self build railway. But they own start two years after our own start. And they are only 759 kilometers. For avoidance of doubt, make we take understand ourselves very well. 
Ethiopia had done already get rail line for that corridor already before. But the journey from Djibouti port, you know say Djibouti not be Ethiopia mm -hmm. yes. Now they are neighbor then now they be. Ethiopia not get port. Mm -hmm. Now Djibouti get port. So they negotiate with the government of Djibouti, say, I beg, Mikuna, please allow us access to your port through our railway. So they get that railway there. But the railway, the journey, it be like Lagos to Kano at the moment. Now three days it take. You understand? So they come borrow themselves brain. Say, oh boy, if you upgrade this thing now, they talk with China. China agree with them. They negotiate. They call say, okay, we'll go build the railway for now. From Djibouti to Addis Ababa, 759 kilometers. So then build a new line, standard gauge. Because the old line, not be say refurbishment matter, not be this one. This one, a new line then build alongside the same corridor. Heavy rail, we go to carry container, they carry passenger from Djibouti port to Addis Ababa. Cost, 4.5 billion US dollars, 759 kilometers. When we do the mathematics, it turned out to be about $5.2 million per kilometer. $5.2 million per kilometer. The one for Lagos, when we do the math, now $54 million. $54 million per kilometer. That is more than times 10 of which in Ethiopia pay for heavy rail. Now we pay for light rail. I want enough to carry container. Now only passenger if you carry. You understand? Now, the matter not end there. I can't look at my sister, the same company will build the Euro Ethiopian line. When they start for 2011, finish for 2016, they don't they use them as they talk now. They begin using them for January 2018 for the public. They test them throughout 2017. The same company will build the one for Ethiopia. Now they build the one for Lagos. I can't wonder, say, which country be this? You they build 27.5 kilometers, you not finish after 10 years. You build 759 kilometers, you finish and within five years. Mm. What's it happen now? Come with the I can't check. I just do Google search. The Google, when I Google, it can't bring one paper. That paper now, the quarter one report, the first quarter report of 2010 of CRCC, that is China Railway Construction Company, to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange when they day. When I read the report, I see page nine. I look the last paragraph. I can't see whether they report all the overseas contracts when they don't get. Inside that paragraph, they write Lagos Light Railway Scheme for the blue line and the red line. Say the contract value now 1 billion 256 million rare mean B. That is their currency. I can't do the conversion to dollar. My sister, fear catch me. For the two lines. Waiting, they say the contract value will be now 181 million US dollars. So wow. what do you go do differently? 181 million dollars. Because right now I go make everything they public. If we won't do railway and we go and, and I won't do railway, mm. now that Ethiopian cost, now I go use a standard. If any railway company come meet me and say they won't build railway for me, the thing pass five for two million dollars. I go ask them how it take be. We go do public bidding process. Anything when they submit, by the time we want to open the bids, now for public we go do them, not be saying anything hidden, hidden. You understand? So that everybody go see as the thing they take go. We know what the cost supposed to be because all the figures are there for public now. The Ethiopians don't hide their own, they put them for public. Sure. Even fights there for Ethiopia say corruption now make a reach $5.2 million per kilometer. Then they fight there. Arguments there. So all this kind of money. The difference between $1.5 billion where they say it cost and the $181 million where the Chinese company say they pay there, now over $1.2 billion US dollar. Where that money go? Now the question where they ask me that, if to say they spend all that money on railway at the cost where the Ethiopians do their own, we forget 277 kilometers of railway. They're not agree. That one day there. Lekki Express Expressway, 5.8 billion naira per kilometer, 16.6 million dollar per kilometer. Nain LCC, they claim, say, they take expand that 23 kilometer where they do. Meanwhile, Julius Baga built, for, they built 44 kilometers of road <coughs> inside Dangote refinery complex at 250 million naira per kilometer. Julius Baga, this one now one year, year high tech. When we don't know before. But we could talk about other things when they go chance to pay. No, we need to face no, the things where they pay, where they pinch the Because we don't already identify all now, those things. People they go chance to know. Clearly, so my own now be say, 
instead of all these crazy costs, mm. whether they charge, to build anything for this Lagos, we go make them public. The coastal road, I don't already get an idea of what the cost supposed to be. It's not supposed to pass more than, 70, uh, more than 700 million per kilometer. The only thing we go make them a little more expensive than that. Now, the flyovers and the clover leaf junctions, we go day the road. Because we don't want to put junction roundabout, all this yeah, yeah, nonsense with the Lake Expressway. We don't want to put them for that road. Because when we finish that road, and I, I would believe say we will finish in 18 months flat, if we get competent contractor, we go work 24 hours. Not be the one we go work, the 8 o'clock reach, everybody close, and they go house. No. They go work round the clock, and we go fund them to do the work. And as we pay civil servants better money, they don't go go chook eye. Inside within the contractor, they Moving do say they won't collect uh, Let's talk money. about another thing again. Mm -hmm. Let's All talk right. about Let me, be, Before transportation, I want to quickly put the uh, choking something here. Now, obviously, you don't do your homework. You don't know yes, no. all, all the things where Lagosians particularly need. But we get one big issue with the inside Lagos. And now okay. we say, if all these uh, amenities don't do, yes. um, if the population of Lagos, of Lagosians, mm -hmm. they more than the resources where they the pressure would they too much on the resources. Now, we know, say, we know say, before you go on, sir, mm -hmm. we know say, um, estimatedly, Lagos get about 20, 21 uh, million. Million. 24 million people. And um, as of 2017, the present governor of Lagos, somebody being talked for one of his statements, say about 86 migrants enter Lagos every hour. Not every day, every hour. You multiply that by 24 hours, you will get how many be by We not calculate how many people. We not calculate how many people they die. Well, how many people they pay for they, this Lagos? And how many they still go every out day? True. And how many people they still go out go back. But, every day? But on the average, we we know say the number of people they come into Lagos, the influx, they rationally more than people where they die, people where they go back. Now, if we get this kind of issue, uh, population for different places is both is, is either a cause or a blessing, or both. How do you feel say we should handle the large increasing population of Lagos per day as compared to the resources we there inside Lagos? Okay. Again, now strategic investment. If we do strategic investment in our infrastructure, mm. so they move around inside Lagos if we fast pass. Investors go carry their money control. This will not be even say foreign investor. We get our own diaspora now with the foreign countries. Wait for those foreign countries if you go there. Now then they are the top or near the top in most of their careers when they do. You understand? Most of their professions. I mean, not be Nigerian own Gatwick Airport. Mm -hmm. Not be Niger not be the same Nigerian own Lagadia La for New York. Not be the same Nigerian own uh, uh, Italia Rail. You understand? Now Nigerians be that now. Waiting, they pursue them come out from Nigeria. Lack of transparency, lack of infrastructure, lack of commitment to growth of the economy by politicians. Now they pursue them come out from Nigeria. You understand? So if we, if government, you, you they beg people say make the coin invest. You yourself, you they carry our money, go invest for where you they go, go beg people say make the coin. They they crease. They see you now. As you, they, you uh, when you go there, say you won't go do uh, investor, you, you won't go meet investors, say make them come. Every time you go, you go carry one suitcase full of dollar. You they go deposit them for their economy. They see you now. They're not crazy now. They see say yourself not believe in that economy. So why you go come, they persuade them, say make them bring their money. They're not go come. They're not say problem, they there. Now you make you they carry your own money, come out for there. Now then be mugu. You understand what they talk? Mm. So if we invest in our own economy, if we begin to invest, if government begin to invest, private sector will get confidence. Say, ah, okay, things don't happen for you. Make I could quickly go carry my money, go join. When I begin building an estate, for inside Bush, for Eleko, at first people, they laugh me now, say, see this, mumu? they go build inside jungle, who go follow and go there? My brother, as I they talk to you now, Amen estate, Nain be the top estate in this Lagos. It's the most desirable address for this Lagos, therefore by extension for this Nigeria, therefore by extension the whole of West Africa, and arguably the whole of Africa. Why? Because me, I demonstrate confidence in the place, enough to put, carry my money, put there, build houses, build infrastructure, build services, put everything in place, and they pay salaries to hundreds of people, employed by extension, indirectly, thousands of people. You understand? It make people begin to gather confidence. Say, oh boy, what thing that they do here? Not be small thing, no. They carry their money on journals. You don't reach eight years now when we get 24 hours power, 24 hours uh, water, better security, good roads, you know, better drainage, facilities, and all those things. So if you won't carry anybody come out for Amen Estate now, you go tie them up. You go tie them hand and leg. 
before you agree come out. Understood. Now, you, you really, they talk about infrastructure, transportation, uh, housing particularly. You don't lay emphasis yes. on housing. But me, I think we'll come back to transportation as regards population of Lagos. Yes. Now, for the debate, uh, or I think all the aspirants have been talking about transportation as one of the basic issues that we get for inside Lagos. We know, say, presently right now, uh, the pressure on the roads for Lagos, uh, the, the pressure of uh, both vehicular transportation and human transportation on top of the roads is they very high. Now, we they call Lagos the home of aquatic splendor. And largely, we know, say, uh, uh, water transportation, they grossly underutilized. And uh, what do you feel, say, if we do concerning water transportation to ease the pressure on the roads and to better uh, improve transportation for inside Lagos? We need to upgrade our thinking. Mm. Our thinking not they upgraded, they still they very low. What thing we need to do be say we need to bring in high volume, high speed catamaran ferries. I use catamaran for a reason. Catamaran are twin hauled boats. Mm. When you use catamaran, the depth of water where catamaran they need is less pass eh, the depth of water where they need for single haul boats. And these are our channels for Lagos, both our lagoons, our creeks, everything, that they very shallow. So the only thing where we work for us as mass transportation for water, now boats will not need too much debt, and catamaran fits that description perfectly. But the catamaran boats when we won't buy, not be the one we go carry 40 or 50 passengers. No, that one will not work for us. For a city of this population, we need, and because we no get alternative transport, we need high volume. So boats will go fit carry minimum of 1,000 passengers, plus vehicles, cars, plus Heavy vehicles like a trailer and long buses. Hmm? Now, what thing we need be that? So, and that one now, what thing are they call low hanging fruit for transportation area? Why? Because we still feel carry money, go buy Tokumbo. If we say we won't buy a new one, we go wait at least 18 months later for build the thing. So, we could go find used one between 1,000 and 2,000 <coughs> passengers, between 150 to 200 cars, between 50 to 100 lorries at once. And then they, then they all over the world. We go, as soon as we enter, bam, now our first job is that, go bring all those ferries. Minimum within three months, they go down land. We go deploy them, particularly number one in the Badagri axis. Deploy them for the Kurudu axis because now on a heavy population center and they get water. Deploy them for Ekwe axis so that people go begin migrate, go that side. They go build because they know, say, if you dare Ekwe, you enter a boat from Ekwe Marina or from Ejini. Say you won't come Lagos. Within 40 minutes, you don't reach VI by boat. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we go invest in these things, a minimum of 10 of these platforms, 10 of these vessels. We go buy them, come. Make we for ease the transportation issues in all of those commuter routes. You understand what I'm saying? They talk. Yes. That one go reduce the pressure on the roads immediately, instantly. And at the same time, as we do that one, alongside, as we enter every road, starting with the major roads, so Lagos by that Grey Expressway, Lekki Ekpe Expressway, any pothole, we go display zero tolerance for potholes and for damages on the road. Any pothole we day for any of those roads, Lagos Public Works Corporation, we go upgrade their infrastructure. Carry them put for at least, when we start with the five divisions, then go get one asphalt plant for each division of Lagos State. When I talk about division, I mean the, in, uh, the original administrative divisions for Lagos. That is Ikuro, oh, Duba, Dagri, uh, Ikeja, Lagos, and Ekpe. Each one will get their own asphalt plant and their own works yard. Fully equipped. Mm -hmm. Thank God for China. And they always thank God for those people because their own equipment is cheap pass anywhere. You understand? So unless the Americans and the British won't match the Chinese for uh, cost, the Chinese, the Turks, and the Koreans for cost. Now, China and I, will they go? Now, why we talk about transport Korea, now? Let's so that we go fit, bring everything together and uh, monit put monitors, put monitoring systems in place. Eh? That, this one will involve personnel, mm. heat squads, now mm. they call them. We go, they go around all the local governments, they go look where portal day, and they go get the technology to fix them quick, quick, overnight. Mm. So, Badagri Expressway, eh, as it day now, if we took head, put inside, say we want to repair them, not be to expand, though. now just to repair the two, two lanes where they now. You understand? Mm. Within six to seven months, we don't finish. You don't say they're very easy to talk. And, uh, it's they're very easy to walk to. Execution now, our major my sister, problem, for example, my sister, wait, 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 make I show you something. This Lagos uh, Express where they look so. 
Lekki Expressway. You know when they begin building? That's when they begin building for 1980. By 1983, indoor carrying 65 kilometers to Ibejuagbe. Now, person where they dedicated be that. My sister, Ikorodu Road. Now, Ikorodu people build that road. Now, my grandfather lived them, so I know the story well. well. My grandfather and I put down 50% of the money when they take build Ikorodu Road, personal money. And uh, the townspeople now then donate money, plus all the people of Ijevuremo, they donate money to build that Ikorodu Road. You know when they start? 1947. You know when they reach St. Agnes for Yaba? 30 miles later. 1953. Six years, they don't finish. Lekki Expressway expansion, not be to build new road, expansion. Then start for 2006. As I they talk to you now, eh? 13 years later, they never finished the expansion. I like the fact that you don't so talk about housing. So now dedication, you talk about transport, political sorry, will, please. and focus. We need focus. to actually enter this particular one. Now we don't talk about housing. We don't talk about transport, even rail transport, even water transport. Now let's talk about another thing again, where they actually affect a lot of Lagosians. We they talk about waste management infrastructure. Yes. We they get some people where they live for dumb sites where we know say they cause serious health hazards to residents around. Which plans you get as you guys? Okay, make a quickly break down that one. First, from the legal angle. Mm -hmm. The legal angle we say under the constitution of Nigeria. Yes, we all know say the constitution they faulty, and we go they look up, they try to amend. But as it did now, within all the governors we did there now when they sign to uphold, when they swear to uphold, now we say waste management. Na local government work. Under the constitution, fourth schedule, section one, it lists them very clear. You understand? So lawman na illegal body, na unconstitutional body. Visionscape, na illegal business, na unconstitutional. The law won't give Visionscape right to manage waste for Lagos State, na illegal law, na unconstitutional law. It contradicts the constitution, therefore it is null void and of no effect. That is the first thing. Second thing, to fix the problem, what I want to do is as soon as we enter, you see, thank God for technology. We must always praise all these Western people for the research when they carry money do. Technologies don't exist now. To recycle every single kind of waste when they, even industrial waste refuse, refuse recycle and break them down to the elemental level, begin to sell them as chemical where other people go, still go use again for their work. So every waste when they fit recycle, both kitchen waste, both sewage, both industrial waste, both, uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Sawmill waste safe, all this sawdust. <coughs> it gets used when we put them to. So every local government, immediately as soon as we enter, we go buy and install comprehensive waste recycling plant for them. Sorter, separators, washers, biogas digesters, the whole lot. Metal crushing plants, everything. Please don't forget the maintenance now, our problem. My sister, when we buy the systems, we go buy them complete with maintenance agreement. Maintenance agreement including training and retraining agreement. It go day inside everything when we buy. How we won't do it? We won't buy and one for each of the 20 federally recognized local governments in this Lagos. We know if we buy for 57 LCDAs, that one will cost us too much. So we go do for 20 local governments in Lagos State. We expect that by the end of year one, everything will be done ready for each of these local governments in terms of waste recycling. You understand? Because I won't end landfill. Landfill will not be a better way of taking care of waste. Because all, every time it rains, and you know, say we did for inside very high rainfall area. Mm -hmm. Every time it rains, all the uh, water, it go dissolve all the contaminants with the inside the waste. Carry and go join the groundwater. When we did from get borehole, they drink water. It's not good. So we need to avoid landfill and uh, uh, recycle all our waste. But we need to give local governments that responsibility. Now, one of the capacity building exercises when I want to do for local governments for Lagos with that, so that they will fit stand their own Gidigba to do the work when they're supposed to do. In addition to giving them back all of their other responsibilities, we stay don't thief for their hand because of sake of the money where they follow those responsibilities come. You understand? So waste management will give it back to local governments. Now, another area where we get worry for uh, waste management, now the collection of the waste. 
Are we now going to start spending money to buy trucks for local government to go and be collecting waste? No, it's not a smart way of doing it. The PSP system we did, okay? Now, one side of waste management, when I like, where this current government don't do. Mm. So we'll go back to that, because now in the commons, we we'll bring a vision scheme, waste scheme, cause all this katakata, we rubbish, they do everywhere now. You understand? So we bring the PSP people back. We write it into law for the local governments that the collection must be outsourced to private sector. Because people don't already invest heavily in the hardware, in all the trucks that is needed for collection. And they have a lot of people already employed in that area. Me, I'm not about making people lose their jobs. I'm about creating more jobs. So when we put the, uh, 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 the waste recycling plants in place, now jobs now. Now people go work there. The PSP, eh, when, they, when, when they want to throw away out of business because they go carry, carry us put inside another basic, 50 billion naira for vision scheme, eh, the PSP people go, go come back. Plus all the people when they employ, all the millions of people when they employ throughout Lagos State, they go go join the council for their area. You understand? To they help them to collect, not be to recycle, just to collect the waste. And when they reach the council, they dump the waste there. The council will get sorting center. Thank God for technology. The sorting center is where they now. If you if you if if you yourself just Google. You go see what they they talk. This one not be saying anything they hitting. Because of our time. Now, with, yes, with all sir. those plans where you get, with all a, a very, very um, a big plans where you get They're for, not nine, big. For, nine, for Lagosians They're in particular, what will be your plans. chances of winning, knowing, say, a lot of people don't come outside talk about Godfatherism for inside Lagos politics? Well, we can tell you one thing. Eh? Now, for inside this Lagos, <laughs> nine or ten dollar overnight, literally, for time where Internet, no day. WhatsApp, no day. Facebook, no day. Twitter, no day. So they trend things. Overnight, Lagosians switch from SDP to NRC. They go do election. They vote SDP for assembly. The same day, the same time, they vote NRC for governor. You didn't hear me so? So Lagosians, they're very smart. They're very wise. They're sabi as it in they go. This, all these godfather talk when they talk. You think say people know they hear. Then they hear now. You think say they like them. They not like them. You think say they don't want change. They want change. So now, Lagosians, I go tell you now. Say, the next election, not be just about politicians, now about you now. Now about you, now about that PVC when you carry for your hand. That PVC when you carry for your hand, and this is your top print. Now your power, if you like, go sell them for 50,000 naira per vote. Make a calculator for you. That 50,000 naira, if they give you, if you manage to get 50,000 naira from them. For the next four years, now 34 naira per day be that. 34 naira per day. If you survive on 34 naira, if you feed you, think very well. Use your power. Use your vote. Vote for Action Democratic Party, the book symbol. Vote for Badamosi for the governor of Lagos State. Now, so we go take Duamo. People go vote. They go go. Not let anybody fear you. Say, eh, if you come out, they go beat or they go do. Everybody come out, go vote. And when you vote finish, stay there for polling units. Make them count, make them count the voting for your present. And then follow them, go collation center. Make them for collate the thing for your present. Not fear anybody. Police are the one owner. If you allow these people, to enter again. Now, Nasabio, me, eh, when I enter, I don't tell Una, say, I go give Una Lagos living allowance to bring on a monthly take home. Not be on a salary, salary in a federal government, get down. Me, I won't give you Lagos, not be 23 to 24,000 of Una, they for Lagos. You know, guess what, governor, they collect as a security vote. I don't need all that money. I don't get my own. Thank God. So, Waiting, I need, we say, make our state secure. Make all of us, they secure. The people where they provide security for us, make them they secure. If you not like, go work for all those year people again. Now, Nasabi, you go go back to roadblock, they go roja. You go go back to, they, to, to, to they go collect uh, people, make that they throw away costs for on our head. Maybe you bump picking. You want to make all your picking, they collect all those costs. I beg, may I stop.
Please. All right, thank you very Let's much for your insight out of our studio. Uh, we get the governorship candidate from ADC, uh, Mr. Babatu Deba. ADP, ADP man. ADP, sorry. Action ADP. Democratic Party. Party. Yes, Action Democratic Party. Yes. Uh, Mr. Babatu Deba, I must say. And you don't talk about the plans we get for Lagos. <coughs> thank Excuse you so much for your insight out of the studio. My sister, thank you very much for inviting me. I they always bad on this on our studio when, when I come. Thank you. thank you for coming, sir. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.